Welcome to Concept Learn. Hello everyone. This is Yashaswini. Welcome to Concept Learn. So coming to the introduction of the Arthropoda. As you see here, the highest taxa is that of the kingdom and it includes the animals. And under this kingdom animalia, there are several phylums like the vertebrates, annelids, mollusks, nematodes and the arthropods. And under the, these arthropods, we can see several classes like the crustaceans, arachnids, insects and the myriapods. And here comes our the major importance regarding the insects. So, as you see here, there are several insects like the beetles, bees, hoppers and ants. And along these uh, insects, we can see several terrestrial organisms like that of the millipedes, centipedes, spiders, mites and ticks. And apart from these insects and the terrestrial organisms, there are few aquatic organisms also like the crabs, lobsters and the shrimps. And these all together classes comes under the phylum Arthropoda. And I have told you earlier that this Arthropoda is only the largest phylum among all the remaining phylums like the nematodes, mollusks and the annelids. And this is derived from the Greek where the Arthros represents the joint and Podas means the feet. And these insects generally they will be lacking the bony exoskeleton which we can see in our human body. And instead of that, it will be having the outer shell and that exoskeleton, it is mainly composed of the chemical compound that is the chitin. So, these all characters have made it to be 85% among all the species which belongs to the arthropoda. So, now let us see few of the important characters which made these insects to be highly evolved when compared to the all other organisms on the earth. Now let's see the general characters which made these arthropods to be highly evolved when compared to all other living organisms. As you see here, the first character is that bilaterally symmetrical. It means that if these are the insects, several insects, whichever insect, if you use a medial line which passes through the center of this body and if you are able to divide it, it will be divided into two equal halves in towards its left and right means whatever if we divide in between it creates two equal body parts and this type of such creation means such type of resemblance in case of the insects is nothing but the bilaterally symmetrical and the next character is that of triploblastic these insects are said to be the triploblastic here in that word tri means three and these three represents there are three germinal layers present within this the embryonic layer of the egg and the outer layer is that of the ectoderm and middle is present the mesoderm and the inner layer is the endoderm. So, here we can see the inner layer endoderm followed by the middle mesoderm and the outer ectoderm. These three germinal layers in terms of its evolution they will be forming the body organs when it reaches the adult stage. And here you can see that these insects are usually segmented. That means here a segment divides the head part and here it divides it as the thorax and the remaining body parts are the abdomen. And this segmentation is especially specific to that of the insects. Here this is the empty body cavity. This is the empty space in between the organs of the insect. And this empty body cavity, it is totally filled with a white colored blood. White is nothing but it is totally colorless. This colorless blood will be found flowing in between the organs of the insect. And that is known as the hemocyl. Here you can see, just now I have told you that insects will be having an outer exoskeleton. As you see here, in case of the weevils and bugs, they can experience it very clearly. If we just touch it, we can feel the hard structure present over its body and this hardened structure it is mainly due to the presence of the chemical compound that is chitin and here are the compound eyes present in case of the insect. These are the two compound eyes which are present in the insect but within each of these compound eye, this is a compound, within each of the compound eye there are present several ometeria. Each of these ometeria will be able to form a separate single image and these all like this will be forming separate images and these all images 
together will be combined to give this mosaic vision. This is a normal image which we can obtain when we see through our eyes. But in case of the insects, it's not in that manner. These several omatidia will combine to give this mosaic vision. Welcome to Concept Learn.